Hello. In this video, we're going to get you all set up and ready to program in Python 3. So, there are two things we need to download to get started, and then we're going to register a piece of software if you're a student. So, the first thing we're going to download is the, the Python 3 language. Um, to find it, you just type in a Google search Python 3 download, and then it's usually the first link, and you should come to a page like this. So, what we're downloading now is we're downloading um, you can think of it like the dictionary that allows us to translate what we write in as a program into something the computer can understand. That's an oversimplification for sure, but but what the Python the Python download has in it is the instructions for how to interpret Python programs MIUI might run. There are some other little um, programs that are included with this, but for our purposes, we just want the instructions to compile, that is translate, um, a program into something the computer can execute. So there are two versions of Python. There's Python 2 and Python 3. We're going to download Python 3. Um, Python 2 and Python 3 are different, um, and, and it's important to recognize that. Python 2 is called a legacy language. It means they're no longer uh, adding to it, but it is still widely used. And it's not that it's a bad language to learn, but Python 3 has had some fundamental changes put into it that kind of plan for the future. So whether you choose to learn Python 2 or Python 3, um, they're both great languages, but Python 3 is going to have some, some added features that will be useful for future programming applications. So that's where we're going to start. So you're going to click on that, download it, and then install the file. Once you've done that, you are going to download PyCharm. PyCharm is what's called an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. And we're just going to pop open this link, and we're going to download the professional. Now, let's talk about what, it, what an IDE is. So think, let's think of English class. You can write an essay on a piece of paper, but you don't. You, you write an essay in Microsoft Word. And the reason you do that is because Microsoft Word offers things like spell check, grammar check, all these wonderful tools that allow you to, to, to write a better essay. It, it catches your errors, it gives suggestions. Programmers, it's the same thing for programming. Programmers can write, a, you can write a program anywhere, um, but by programming in an IDE, you have a number of built-in tools that make it a lot easier. So IDEs will offer suggestions on how to do something, they'll catch your errors, they do a wide variety of things that's going to make programming a lot easier. So we're going to download this. It's a large download. And once that's done, we're going to install it. Now, it's really important. Please install Python 3 before you install um, PyCharm. Because when you install PyCharm, it will actually find the Python 3 and get you all set up. There are lots of IDEs out there. We just happen to be using this one. But um, by all means, it's worth exploring other IDEs that are available to you. Now, the wonderful thing about this company, JetBrains, that produces this IDE and a lot of other ones is it's free for students. Um, you can register as a student and they'll send you a student registration code. So you can search JetBrains student register, regist register and it's the first link. Um, this will be different depending on what school or who you are, but you can hit apply now. And then you can, in my case, you can do an official document. You can say I'm a student or I'm a teacher and you can upload a picture of your student card. Um, it usually takes a little bit of time for them to get back to you, but what they'll do is they'll send you a registration code. And once you have your registration code, you can register your product. So, at this point, we're going to stop, and in our next video, we're going to make our first program. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.